hello our project is detection of forged signatures using deep learning we are using it with um, doing it in jupyter notebook first of all we have to import these packages numpy matplotlib skymage pandas and numpy for, uh, these are used uh, in uh, image processing uh, numpy is used for uh, mathematical operations uh, we are using for calculations like that and um, pandas we are using for data visualization and we are using uh, matplotlib import matplotlib package uh, for uh, 2d plots of arrays which is used for plotting arrays and sky image it is used for it's a package used for uh, image preprocessing and we are using tensorflow which is the most important uh, package tensorflow we have to set up this uh, tensorflow environment in our anaconda navigator which is most important one uh, while running it mm, it can be imported uh, as a tensorflow package as tf which is uh, used it's a deep learning technique machine learning technique which is used to uh, develop and train models uh, it will the image will uh, uh, learn uh, the uh, shape the size uh, how the image is varying uh, through this uh, tensorflow module and keras also keras uh, is used for that evaluation of that deep learning techniques and um, these are the packages we can uh, run that first it will take a little bit of time Uh, these are the images we see this is genuine path image path which is even a uh, project where we save that path you can give your path and we are using rgb gray and rgb bin rgb gray to convert into gray scale and rgb bin to remove that we will have that uh, image more fits for more uh, clarity of image and to remove the noise components like that and pre pros pre proc we use that is used for to run this after that yes pre proc this is used for um, the cropped image of uh, signature it will display that image and it will uh, crop the part of the image and with it uh, good position of pixels and uh, on the image then the ratio uh, ratio and centroid of the image we calculate these all are the pre-processing which is done the images eccentricity of solid so eccentricity solidity and uh, kurtosis uh, kurtosis is um, used for peaks and lows of the image how the image is varying from top to bottom or how it's varying from it will learn all these uh, about the image more about the image that is kurtosis we will run that and the features we what all the features we have gathered We'll get that features in a folder we run that and we store that in a, as a csv file in an excel file we show that in a csv file mm. these are the files if uh, this path is not exist we create this uh, folders called features of uh, training and testing these three feet these three folders will be created in where you given the path there that's where the values of all these uh, images will be stored each image uh, that's where we store them. We'll run it. Now we see this makes CSV files. What all the you have to calculate the eccentricity ratio, centroid. These all features will be saved by person by person as an ID uh, in a folder. We'll run that. It will take a little bit of time. Uh, see the same features for uh, ID 1001. That means. These are the uh, images what we have gathered and here see the features and features is the folder in that we have the testing and training folder where the features will be added in a CSV file one on a wall will be added right now uh, that's it still running it will take the time the one 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 on one features of all um, person will be shared like eccentricity solidity kurtosis it uh, will learn all about the images we are given that uh, path right uh, about that uh, genuine and forged path these are the images we have given we have added our own images also 
on images also these are our images our signs uh, and some uh, uh, general data sets we have carried these are our first three ids or our our images real forged these are our images too mm, from this we'll learn about these images the using that um, tensor flow we'll learn more about the images it saves that features and when we give the path uh, it will uh, it will learn about them and it compares what uh, what is what what is what it will take some time the ids features for person one and two are saved mm. next comes three four up to 12 uh, ids we have 12 persons uh, signature samples uh, we have collected at most uh, uh, five five real and five forged images see this is a real and forged images uh, for real we have collected five that means it will uh, learn about that uh, five images and stores the features in that csv file similarly for forged as well so that um, the same person uh, we can learn more about the same person uh, uh, features so we're giving not only only not a single signature we're giving multiple signatures so that it can learn about that uh, uh more about that image like um how the it's wearing that uh, how the letters are wearing that peaks and lows how are they wearing to learn more about them now the id3 also saved take some time because you need to learn more about that uh, image so it will uh, take some time ID3 is also saved uh, right now. Next, uh, we'll wait that to finish. Now we're seeing this testing and uh, testing path where uh, this uh, gets this uh, CSV features and it will store in a new folder as cost test features because. Uh, uh, when we're giving the real and forge, it has to compare the whole value. So we're giving test features another folder where the final values will be stored as a CSV file. Next, um, this is um, we're uh, getting that uh, output what we required uh, enter person's ID, the path of signature image, and um, train path and test path. That means uh, the features of training and testing where it will be stored. We're getting that path and we'll read that uh, CSV values and uh, We'll store that in a CSV file. Next, we'll uh, store, see about that um, uh, values of it. Uh, it will uh, learn through that uh, different layers and uh, what are the changes happened in the signature. It, it will give us, a, give us the output in a, a more accurate way. We store the accuracy also. We'll evaluate the test path and try and path. We'll uh, read this uh, output data. What is the uh, uh, image we are getting? Uh, output we are getting. If you complete this testing, we can uh, see uh, features. We can uh, run with it. these are the path where we save that features we can see that uh, features will be shared the features right testing this one two other you can open it you can see the values there let me open that csv file
it will show the value you can uh, uh, run it values this is previously run this four five six and i don't know store it will uh, see these are the values uh the ratio the kurtosis the centroid values the solidity skew kurtosis x through x and y axis it will show for uh, every id uh it will um, learn about them that's how it runs Well, we can see for ID two and ID three also. So now features for ID four and five are created. Now features for four and five are created. Now six has been created. It will learn about that features of the image and it will store in that um, features uh, folder. Total two are there for each two again five. As I said, five real and five forged. Yes, uh, 10, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, one will see one is left. Yes, there's gone. It's done. Up to 12, the features has been saved. Now we'll run the testing path of that features which will be stored. Yes, now the final one. We'll run this. Yeah, this is, we'll ask the ID about it. We gave it 12 ID 001 now. Enter. Now the a path we have to queue the path of it which we can get here the real real is this part we can give the path here by copying it there real and we give the image this or the zero zero one zero zero one underscore this is a real images uh, we will give that zero zero one Zero zero one underscore zero zero one dot p and z. Uh, this is the file path. It will uh, check about the path and it will give the output. Yes, it's given a genuine image. It's a genuine image of ID one. Uh, this is the, this is how we get the required Z output. Uh, you can see that accurately we're getting the results. You can we'll run it again for a forged uh, image. Yes, zero zero one. Now, get the part. We need to get the forged image part for ID. We'll get that with the forged image. We'll get that forged image. Now, we'll uh, test it here. Let's go. We'll uh, paste the path again. Yes, we we'll paste it. Yes, this is a forged image. We get that output as forged image because it's a forged image of ID1. This is, we can see the test features also will be created. The final output where you can uh, see that uh, CSV file, the values of all this uh, final values will be stored of uh, eccentricity, kurtosis, q-kurtosis, uh, centroid ratio. This all will be stored. 
that's how we check the uh, image is genuine or false uh, using a tensor flow module and uh, several modules that's it